Yo, what's up guys? Gaming Magic 13 here, and welcome back to the 100% walkthrough for LEGO Batman the video game. Today I'll be playing through the fourth villain level of the Riddler's Revenge and Enterprising Theft, and picking up a super villain achievement along the way. Aside from being able to pass through Toxic Goo, Two-Face's biggest draw is his guns. He has two pistols, which are very effective at clearing out enemies. It's just a shame that it's hard to get him out, and by the time you do, you're most likely dead. It's cool when you can actually get it to work against the enemies, but most of the time it's more effective and more efficient to just punch him to death. Anyway, start off this first area by punching everything you can for some studs. You can see right here I'm trying really hard to showcase the pistols for the walkthrough, but it's just not working. I just keep punching the guys down. I think at some point I do end up showing them off, like right here. And you can see it's very effective, you just takes a while for you to actually be able to get the guns out. Anyway, once you're ready to move on, bust open these blue benches right here, and then reassemble the pieces into a rotator switch. Then push against the green side to reverse the flow of the escalators. Once you're satisfied with the stud count, bust open all of these boxes and benches along the back wall, and then reassemble the pieces into four buttons. Step on the buttons in the order which they appeared on the monitor. Blue, red, yellow, green. The door will open, and then you can proceed. Now for this section, press the attack button to try and get Two-Face's guns out, then stand towards this back corner and fire. The bullets will lock onto the police officer standing on top of that ledge, allowing you to snipe him down so that you, there's, it doesn't cause a problem for you. You can do the same thing with the other sniper on the left side of the area.
For a good shot of taking him out, scan on top of this left table and then fire, presuming you have the guns out. You'll have to bust through the railings first, but eventually you'll hit him. Climb up this ladder and then head over to the left hand side. Then reassemble the pieces that you'll find across this gap into a power box. Then head over to the right and reassemble the pieces over here into a button. Remember, two vases can pass through this toxic goo completely unharmed. So swim over to the right hand side, jump up, and then bust open this box right here, then reassemble the pieces into another power box. Push that into the wall to send the final power needed in order to open the door. Reassemble the two sets of pieces here into a mech. Once it's assembled, take control of the Riddler and then take control of the guy right back here and, and make him use the technology panel in order to take control of the mech. Then, command the mech to drive straight into the right, he will be able to pass through these laser beams completely unharmed, and then crash into the power box on the other side. All the lasers will instantly collapse. going to be a few more snipers up on that top ledge, but if you stand in the general areas where I'm standing and just aim towards the ledge by looking forward, you should be able to snipe most of them down, because trust me, if you leave them alone, they will be a pain in this section. Once they're all cleared out, switch to Two-Face and then jump up here and move to the left-hand side. Then move over to the left-hand side and bust open this box right here in order to disable another laser beam and activate a lever. Now, while this thing was used previously for sucking up all the toxic goo in the area, this time we're just going to use it to run over all of the red panels circling around the center. So drive forward and hit. make sure to hit all of the red panels. If you miss one, go back for it. And no, they won't time out. You can hit one, wait 30 minutes, and then hit the next one. They will not time out on you. And then once you hit all of them, the door into the center will open, so walk to the door. I couldn't fi find the door here for some reason. And then push the rotator switch against the green side. With that bridge extended, head back up to the ledge via the handrails. Then cross the gap with a newly formed bridge and bust open this box in the right corner. Hmm. With the doorway now open, proceed to the next area.
Crossing the center point in the room will activate these three buttons, which you have to step on in the correct order, but we can't do much with them yet. So switch to the Riddler and then head to the back left corner of the room and take control of the scientist back there. Then make him pull the lever. Then switch to Two-Face and head to the back right corner and bust open the doorway that you will find there and then cross the room in, with the toxic goo and you will find a leather lever for you to pull. Now head back to the center of the room and push step on the buttons in the order which it says on the wall. Yellow, red, green. With all these newfound parts, reassemble the pieces into another robot. Then take control of the robot and bust open all eight red cylinders around the room. Doing this will give you access to the gun in the back of the room, ending the level. Alright, and that is going to do it for this episode of the LEGO Batman the Video Game 100% Walkthrough. So, I would like to thank you all for watching, see you for the next episode, and until then, this has been a game of Magic 13, signing off, saying hope you have a fantastic horrible day, and I will catch you all next time when we're going to be tackling the fifth and final villain level of the Riddler's Revenge, Breaking Blocks. Goodbye!